great movie. It had a princess and dinosaur. Oh. And there was army guys. But dinosaurs ate them up. Ate them? Oh, it's my. Feature. Oh, I'm so sorry, Vicky. You too, I told you. No, leave Aunt Vicky alone. Tina, it's all right, darling. They're just happy. And it's the right kind of noise, you know? It's life. Go on, you two, upstairs, okay? Sorry. Sorry, sorry Aunt Vicky. Okay. Please, darling, okay, don't be sorry. Quick like bunny. Tina, honey, there's no need to walk on eggshells around me. You know, I'm, I'm just in mourning, that's all. Then I'll leave you be. No, no, please, stay. Just for a minute. Catch me up. Tell me what's going on in the world. Did you buy something new? Well, it's, it's just a dress. It's, well, it's, um, it's nothing too fancy. It's just it's a dress. That's not fancy. I don't know what is. Mm. It is gorgeous. I got it straight from Milan. Really? Well, that sounds expensive. Oh, it is. That, well, that's the best part. Can you afford it? Of course I can. What's a credit card for? It's money. Besides, I'll be able to pay it off just like that. Really? Hmm? Well, Vicky, why not? Things can change. Overnight sometimes. You never know. I will take possession of my trust fund today, won't I? I mean, I answered all the questions correctly, didn't I? Oh, yes, all correct. But Victor Lord was a very careful man, and there's one more detail we need to attend to, one final safeguard. What kind of detail? It, well, a minor formality, really. I'm sure you read Lord of the Banner. Your father was hardly a trusting soul, and the trustees are following his lead. Uh, quite understandable, really. It is a large sum of what, money. What detail? Well, I am instructed to ask you for blood. That's all. We need to confirm your type. You want a blood sample? Simple procedure. The whole affair should be over in a minute or two. The last step remaining between you and your full inheritance. Mr. Vickers, you don't have a problem with taking a blood test, do you? If you don't have an attorney available now, you will have the right to remain silent until you can consult one. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Now that I've advised you of your rights, are you willing to answer questions? I am uh, Mr. Gannon's attorney, and he will gladly answer your questions as long as I'm present. Guys, this is something that happened 23 years ago. Now, this is a district attorney. Do we have to go with cuffs and everything? Bo, we all know the rules here. They're doing what they have to do. Yeah, well, they have no choice, Bo, and neither do I. This is wrong, Hank. You hang in, all right? Somehow, I swear, okay? This way, Mr. Gannon. Hank the Cannon Gannon? Yeah. Tim Nicholson, Assistant DA, Cook County. Well, Nicholson, sorry I can't shake your hand. Uh, you've met Police Commissioner Bo Buchanan? Yes, Commissioner. You know, it, it's very funny here, um, Tim, but when we went over this uh, so-called case of yours for, well, I don't know, the thousandth time, I, we decided that there could be no charges, and now you're sort of throwing a murder charge at him at this point? Tim, 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 please. Come on here now. Isn't there some other way you could do this without an arrest? I mean, after all, you did say that you knew Hank Gannon's reputation. I'm sure your attorney informed you I've got an eyewitness. With the rest of the evidence, that gives me sufficient grounds. The charge is murder. I don't see any reason for Hank the Cannon Gannon to receive special treatment, do you? Well... Listen, uh... You mind if I have a minute loan with my attorney and Mr. Buchanan here? Sure, no problem. With the cuffs off? I'll take responsibility. It's okay. Well, um, I guess now's a good time for us to play our old favorite game, Double Dare, Cheer Me Up. Oh, yes, sure, I can manage that. Let me see. Not only will I have you out of here in no time, but we'll be laughing about this all the way back to Pennsylvania. Huh, Tim? Yeah. Okay, now who is the witness? 
Is it Danny Keller? Well, who else was at Juliet with R.J.? <sighs> this is bad, Nora. And you know, he's going to try to stick me with this. We have no physical evidence, nor do we have our own witness to contradict him. I know, I know. The two other warriors that were in the room that night, they're both dead. I'm sorry. One of them in Vietnam and the other one recently for heart attack. I checked it out. I... We got nobody. The state probably offered him immunity and then uh, agreed to reduce some of his sentences for uh, Keller's felony convictions. Well, look, there's no love lost with me and Keller. But with R.G. behind him, who knows what he's willing to say in that courtroom. Well, maybe I'll make some phone calls and see what I can get on him. You know, I don't think it's going to be terribly difficult to discredit him with the judge. Even if you break his story, they've still got the videotape from the surveillance camera. Yeah, but we're going to throw that tape out as soon as my expert gets back with a report, Hank. No, our best bet is to find that original tape, the one that shows you leaving long before that guard was shot. And R.J.'s got it. He's hidden it someplace. I could just feel it. Well, I'll keep trying to find it. Okay. Listen, Nora, I want you to talk to Rachel and Sheila. I mean, if they're looking to come up here, I want you to talk them out of it. You got I it. will take care of them. I know what you want. Thanks. You, uh, you never let me down, do you? I'm going to win this. Hank, I think it's a good idea if we go to them. I don't want them coming back here after you. You got it. Let's do it. Hank? Thanks. I was just taking Ben to the hospital. Mm, just checking in. Can't wait to get back to work. Uh, have you heard anything from Daddy? Any news? I've been waiting, too. Uh, I've got something on the stove. I'll get that in the kitchen. Okay. Okay, excuse me. I hope it is Hank. Sheila's more uptight than I've ever seen her. Yeah, we all are. But Dad, most of all. I can't imagine Hank not being the DA. I mean, he lived for that job, and, and now that... Hey, I'm sorry. No, no, yeah. no, it's not you. I... Look, I know what I promised. I promised that I would stay away from RJ and the jail, but... but I went to see him. Ben, I begged him to tell the truth about Dad, but he won't do it. Rachel, you... Look, I don't want you anywhere near the man ever again. RJ's a con artist. You give the guy half a chance, he'll get right to you. There's nothing he can do to us that he hasn't already done. He's practically ruined my dad's life. Well, not yet. And who knows, with any luck, they, they might throw it out or, or settle it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Well, Rachel, was that dad? Uh, Nora. Do you have any classes the next day or two you can't miss? I need you to go with me. Did they charge him? Yes. Um, we need to get to Chicago as soon as we can. Come in. Hey, Clint. Cord. I thought you flew out west on business. Yeah, I did. Back from Portland. Just got off the flight, as a matter of fact. Oh, how's the trip? Not too bad, not too bad. In fact, I got some very interesting information. Really? About what? Yeah, it's a long story. Listen, I checked my message. You, you said you wanted to see me about something. Yeah, I got a question for you. How well do you know David Vickers? You seem unhappy about this blood test, Mr. Vickers. Unhappy? No, I'm not unhappy. I just don't understand why we're wasting our time, since there's only one blood type that I can be, O negative. Both my parents were. I am, too. Victor so Lord I'm... left very specific instructions. The trustees concur. All right. All right. You want blood? You'll get blood. I'll stop by my doctors. He'll send the test results right I'm up. I'm afraid that won't do, though. I am pleased about your decision to go ahead, especially as Nurse Tyson is already on her way here. Nurse? Uh, yes, the trustees have engaged a registered nurse. We called her as soon as you came in. She should be here. Here? Don't worry. The whole affair will be over and done with before you know it. Over before I know it. Yeah, right.
Vicki, darling, look. We've all known one another for a long time. You don't have to be strong and brave for us. We know what you're feeling. I know, I know. I mean, I was very good friends. I know. I don't know what's holding the pieces together. One little tap and I could crumble. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry? What do you have to be sorry for? I've lost so many people that I love, Renee. And each time a little piece of me dies, and soon there'll be nothing left but just echoes. I um, just dropped by to pick up some stuff from my room, my old room. Well, it's still up there. How's Mom? She's inside in the library. Renee's with her, Uncle Larry. You think uh, she's doing the best she can? Think she mind if I stopped in to see her? Well, I think it'd do a lot of good. You know, Joey, uh, that little TV set up in my room. You're welcome to borrow that if you want. I know how empty those dorm rooms can be. If you want it. <laughs> Look, Kevin, I'm not moving into the dorm. I'm living with Dorian. I moved in with her. Oh, my God, Joey! You're an even bigger idiot than I thought. Easy. I had to do some dancing to get you this phone again. We made a deal, right? Two tickets for the Sixers Saturday. Center court, fourth row. Better be. Trust me. It's a private call. Make it fast. <sighs> yeah, it's again. And listen, did you get that message to Joliet Prison for me? Ha <laughs> ha! That's why I deal with professionals. Uh, now you did talk to Danny Keller personally, right? Good, good. Yeah, I've been waiting for this a long time. Hmm? <clears throat> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh... Uh, here we go. Oh, wow. Aunt Clara's famous chicory coffee with chocolate shavings. Oh, I do remember this. Good. I made a whole pot. Mm. Oh, delicious. Who's Danny Keller? I couldn't help overhearing you on the phone. Oh, well, I'm very lucky to have some contacts still in this town. Danny Keller is the prosecution's star witness. Says Henry was involved in the shooting. Yes, but I'm going to prove him to be a liar. Friends of Randall James always been liars and thieves. Randall James broke his mother's heart too many times. I'll never forgive him for that. You were so good to us. I mean, Hank and me. I wanted my nephew to be happy. That's all. Wanted you both happy. Oh, yeah. I thank you for that. For then and for now. There's just one thing about you I never got, Nora. You and Randall James. How come you liked him so much? You were the only one helped him, defended him. Well, maybe... Maybe the boy had you under his thumb. That's what I think. Found a way, didn't he, Nora? I was wrong about R.J., and I'm really sorry about that. King of misery, that boy. We all got our stories. Hey, something smells great. Everything I make. <laughs> Ready for some of my chest pie? Yeah, and how about a big piece for uh, Red here, too? That, that way we can celebrate. Red? Who's uh, Red? Yeah, I, I think that your famous chest pie is a perfect thing to go along with a big chunk of great news. What, what kind of news? The best. Exactly what we've been waiting for. A new beginning. This is real business with opportunities for everyone. Shattered by a shady past. Ah! You 
you're sure that this partnership with Sonny is a good idea? Will loyalties be questioned? Do you have to go into a partnership with someone who comes with this much trouble attached? Sonny didn't turn his back on me when I was in trouble. That puts us in the middle of a war zone, doesn't it? Will partners become rivals? You don't want to get in the middle of this loop. I am in the middle. General Hospital, only on ABC Daytime. I, know. I just heard from my expert. He says that that videotape that shows Hank at the scene when the gun went off, it has definitely been edited, honey, just like we okay. thought. That's it! Case closed. No, no, no. Case is not closed, exactly. No, it's, it's going to damage the prosecution's case badly. But unless we can find the real tape, the one that shows it really happened that night, we can't clear Hank. R.J. might have burned that tape years ago. Randolph James holds on to everything. Even a grudge. He's a pack rat. Oh, <clears throat> I'm going to get that because I'm expecting a call from the court. Don't you eat that whole pie, Bull Buchanan. Looks great. Taste it. Best tape you've been looking for. He'd keep it right under everybody's nose just to prove how he'd gotten away with it. Wear the thing around his neck if he could, half hoping somebody would notice. He just loves feeling smarter than everyone else. How's my pie, huh? Oh. <laughs> okay, come on. No time to what? eat. Come on. No, it's time for this pie. No, 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 no. They just granted my motion. We're having the preliminary this afternoon. Oh. And Clara, we'll see you later. Oh, well, good luck. All right, thank you. Come on, 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 come on. Just a second, just a second. <laughs> I swear this is the greatest pie I've ever tasted in my life. Ahem, <clears throat> go. You clear, Henry. I'll make you a dozen. You're on. Oh! Yeah. Vicky, you've got to give yourself permission to feel what you're feeling. I'm afraid to let go, Larry, because I think it might all fall apart. See, on top of everything else, I'm having terrible problems with Joey. And Dorian. But that'll all work itself out. You can lean on us. We'll be here. Honey, don't try to solve everybody's problems by yourself. You need rest. And most importantly, you've got to do whatever you can to avoid stress at all costs. Hey, Joey, hold on. Look, I apologize. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you earlier. I just don't want you hurt. And you're in for nothing but trouble with Dorian. Yeah, all right, I'm in for trouble. All right? Are you quite finished now? I mean, this is really getting old, Kevin. I mean, everybody warning me. First you, then Dad, and David, and Tina. Wait, what, what's going on? Look, it's time that everybody just got over it, all right? Live with it, people. I've made my decision. I'm living with Dorian. That's how it is. I love her, and I don't care what anybody thinks. Have you got it? I love Dorian. Thank you. Sloan tried to warn me about David. He, um... He didn't trust him. He didn't say why, though, huh? Well, we ran out of time. So listen, uh, you've been out asking questions, right? Yeah, first stop was uh, over Dorian's. I mean, think about it. David Vickers just happens to show up in town in time to save uh, Dorian from death row. You know, Victor Lord's son just shows up out of the blue. It's a little coincidental, isn't it? Fine, so what did she have to say? Well, it's more what she didn't say. She was very, uh, nervous and evasive and, and phony, right from the time I first mentioned his name. Now, there's something about that fellow, Court. I just don't know what it is yet. You know, I had plenty of questions about David Vickers and myself. In fact, that's the whole reason I went out to Portland. It happens to be his hometown. Do you know that? And? All those doubts I had before about David, they're all gone because now I am totally convinced David Vickers is not who he pretends to be.
Some people can't stand the sight of blood, especially their own. Me, I love it. All right, are you ready, Mr. Vickers? Um... Just turn your head. You won't even know I'm here. Wait. Oh, for crying out loud. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I am sorry. I, I can't go through with this. What? I'm sorry. Money or no money, I, I cannot do this. One Life to Live will continue in a moment here on ABC. Vickers, just no, close you your eyes. Keep that away from me. You won't oh, feel a thing. God, no more, no God. pain. Oh, my office. Oh, Lord. Oh, my. Stop standing around. Grab me that pitcher of water. <sighs> Mr. Vickers. Mr. No. Vickers. Uh, look, he's coming around, I think. Oh. oh, blood. Blood and needles. I can't stand blood and needles. Uh-huh, we noticed. Can you stand up? <sighs> oh. Oh. Uh been this way ever since I was a kid. Oh, I've tried so hard. Come over this. Look, I've seen his type before. Nothing for me to do. Mr. I'll Tyson, uh, make my report to the trustees. Have a nice day. Oh, God. Grizzly business. She's quite a woman, though. Look, I am, I'm really sorry. You will get this blood sample, I promise. Well, until this is resolved officially, I'm afraid I can't release any monies. There has to be a blood test, and until then, the clock keeps ticking. What clock? Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Clause 82B. If the Lord Heir does not or cannot complete his claim within a certain amount of time, the trust fund inheritance reverts to the remaining heir, your sister. Tina. The daughter of Victor Lord and Irene Manning. Don't you worry. I will get all of this taken care of, I promise, and in time, too. There's a solution for every problem. What is it with Tina? I mean, she's like a magnet to these con men type. First Kane Rogan and now David Vickers. What'd you find out in Portland? I found out that Irene Manning Clayton's house was just two blocks away from the Vickers house. What? Hmm. Two blocks? And he had no idea? They never made any contact in all those years? A little hard to swallow, isn't it? Well, I thought so, too, so I did a little more investigating. I talked to some of the neighbors. They tell me that as far as they knew, David Vickers was not adopted. Yeah, well, years ago, Cord, adoptions were kept a little more under wraps than they are today. Even so, I got $100 that says uh, David Vickers is not who he claims to be. All right, fine. So then what is his real game? I don't know. But Sloan stumbled onto something. I wish the hell I knew what it was. You know, if you need somebody to help you find out who it is, I'm your man, all right? But in the meantime, I'm going to go over there. I'm going to talk to David. And Tina? That's right. I'm telling you everything I know about what I found out in Portland. Well, uh, you don't think she knows, do you? As much as I hate to admit it, Clint, I got to think that Tina is in on this. I mean, what she feels for David has got nothing to do with him being her brother. Oh, so you ought to protect her or you ought to punish her? Tina's a big girl. She is in way over her head yet again. The only thing I can hope to do here is protect my kids, CJ and Sarah. What about you? What are you going to do? You going to tell Vicki? I don't know. She's got a right to know. But I did promise Sloan that I wouldn't bother her with this until I was sure. I mean, you know how she is about anything that has to do with Irene, not to mention her father. Yeah. And, you know, when he first came to town, when David first came to town, Vicky had a lot of trouble accepting him. But now that, uh, now that she trusts him, if he turns out to be a phony, it's going to, it's going to present all kinds of problems, all kinds of questions for Vicky. About Dorian. Yes, and about how her father died. You know how wound up she got when the case finally went to trial after all those years? And now with Sloan having just passed away, I mean, she couldn't be more fragile than she is. No, I don't think... I don't think we can tell her. That's up to you, Clint. That's your call. Not yet. Not until there's some proof. Kevin, would you and Tina leave us, please? I'd like to speak to Joey alone. 
Well, you know where we'll be if you need us. You're living with Dorian? Mom, I want to be able to be honest with you. And I know this is the worst possible time. I just hope... I, I hope you can find it in your heart. You know, to be happy for me. No. Mom. Joey. I'm begging you. Don't do this. Don't you leave me too. Leave? Please. Not this time. Not you too. Mom, I think you're tired. Joey, please. Please, Joey. Don't decide now. Do it for me. Stay. Mom. Please stay. Stay tonight. Stay Mom. a little while. Joey, Not please. Now, Mom. Please, Joey, don't oh, leave listen, me. We can please, talk about this. Joey. Mom, I'll don't leave me. Hey, Joey, you, you must rest. Rest is exactly what you want. I Come on, want to talk morning. to you. Come on. 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 I'll let you know. Now, we both heard what Larry said. No more stress, okay? Come on, sit down. Paul please. moving so fast. It's out of control, and it's her fault. It is always her fault. Dorian, darling. Dorian? After all these years, it's all running together now because it's all connected in a strange way. First, losing Sloan, just like my father. And I feel now the way I felt then. It's all, it's all the same. It's all the same. I remember his last days. She came and she made it all worse. She came between us. She came between my father and me. And she took him away. And now she has Joey. She's taking him away in the same way. I will never forgive her for what she did to Sloan, to father, and to me. Vicky, darling, you must try I to did not up. forgive her back then for what happened. And I will never, I will never forgive her for this. I swear it, I will not forgive her. Dr. Ben, I heard about your little accident. I'm glad you made it. Here to congratulate you, RJ. Finally got what you wanted. Oh, you still haven't heard the news. Hank's been arrested for murder. <sighs> what a shock. What a crock. Well, I don't know, doctor. Do the crime, do the time. Right. You think it's over? You think you've won? Won? What? With my brother's life in ruins? It may take some time, but there's a way. Something even you haven't thought of. And one of us is going to find it. <laughs> well, we all have our dreams. Stay away from us, RJ. Last warning. You got me? I got you. I got you good. <laughs> Gannon! Let's go. Your lawyer's outside. Uh, your arraignment's in ten minutes. He says that he's going to have you back on the street in an hour. <sighs> <laughs> oh, now, uh, don't let me rush you. Get, uh, get used to the place. So I've got a feeling you're going to be visiting somebody in prison real soon. And, and when you do, give Brother Hank my best, will you? <laughs> well, the judge should be here any minute. Why don't we just go in and sit down, honey? No. Not yet. Why not? Hank. Oh, sweetheart. Hi, Daddy. Oh, are we too you. late? Oh, hi. No, you're right on time. Mm. Are you okay? Yeah, baby, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm gonna be fine. And you, I should have known. You never do what I tell you. Hey, you've carried this thing around on your own long enough, Hank. You're not alone anymore. Thank God for that. Uh, <clears throat> Counselor? Nicholson? The Judge Cutter is on his way down. He likes to start on time. Everybody in place? Gentlemen? The Judge likes to start on time. Gentlemen? Yeah, well, give the Judge what he wants. That's my motto. Okay. 
Well, I'm about as ready as I'm going to be. Inside? Right behind you. I have never hated someone so much in all my life. My Uncle R.J. is the sickest man I have ever met. Yeah, but look, your dad is one tough guy. And Mom is the best I know. I just... I don't even know why I bothered to try, you know? But try? To talk to R.J. In jail this morning. He hates Dad so much. He showed me this medal. From when there were kids in school, my dad won some spelling bee. R.J. stole it. He keeps it like some kind of trophy. I'm surprised he didn't try to steal those trophies that, uh, um, that were not the case, the trophy case in school. Bo, Do, what is it? I don't know, Rich. I, I just had one of the strangest ideas that I've ever had in my entire life. Any better now? One more might help. <laughs> oh, don't press your luck, Buster. Look, Joey, I know that you probably don't need yet another opinion on you and Dorian. Yeah, you're right, I don't. But, darling, you do realize that your mother may never make peace with the idea of you two being together. I know that. I mean, don't you think I know that? It... It hurts me, too. It kills me to hurt Mom, especially now. But I can't just leave the woman I love. I can't do it, Renee, not even for Mom's sake.
Victoria Lord, guilty of the murder of your father, Victor, and sentence you to death. I didn't kill him. But you wished him dead. We both know that. And we both know why. Say it. Say it. Say it! Lanfair. Who's this? David. Yeah, can I help you? David, hi, how you doing? It's Cord. Cord, you're back. Hi. Uh, I'm not sure who's here. Oh, that's all right, that's all right. Uh, you gonna be around the house for long? I'm just gonna need a couple of minutes. With me? Uh, actually, Cord, I was just on my way out. Well, as I say, it won't take long. I tell you what, why don't you stay put and I will be right over. In fact, you might tell Tina. Wait, Cord. Hello, Cord? Great. David. Tina. What do you think? <clears throat> think? Great. You look great. My gosh, you look great. Well, we're a matching set then. So give me some good news. Did you, uh, did you get the money? Hello? I cannot take my eyes off you. Oh, it's the dress. No, it's not. It's you. David. There's something i got to say to you right now. The money can wait. Come here. What? There is plenty of time for the money. I'll tell you all about that, I promise. There's something I want to say to you, Tina. And right now is just the right time. Right Look, for... look, okay. I know this is a lot sooner than we were thinking, but I can't hold back, Tina. Not a day, not an hour. Hold back for what? Tina, marry me. Right now, this minute, not someday, not later. Today. Now. Crazy thought. Well, I get them all the time. What was yours about? About where the real tape must be hidden. What? You stay here, okay? Just stall. Just nope. whatever happens, you just keep stalling, and I'll be right back. But where are you? Wish me luck. Uh, 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 I'm a woman that needs the luck. Need that. All right. Now let's get started. This isn't a football game. Seats. I hereby call to order. This preliminary hearing on the matter of the state of Illinois versus Henry Gannon. This is Joan London. And Antonio Mora. Tomorrow, how to double your chances of living cancer-free. Plus, actor Nigel Hawthorne and L.A. one year after the earthquake. Good morning, America. Tomorrow, here on ABC. Tomorrow. 
it's a joke to Tim, but no one's laughing after a friend learns that her provocative dream about Tim has gone from Al to Tim to Jill on home improvement. Then, Russell drags Grace to a get-rich-quick seminar. Now, how long will it take for Grace to get Russell thrown out? Find out on Grace Under Fire. Next, will Brenda and Sonny be prepared for the success of Ned and his tour? Stay tuned for General Hospital, following an ABC News Brief. to 25 more great years. All my children, it's more than a storyline, it's a legacy.